bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. For this is a day that the Lord has made. And we should all rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. For in this place, you will meet God. In this place, you will receive comfort. In this place, you will receive relief from the burdens of this world. Because God is a good God. Oh, yes, he is. Let us bow in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence on this morning. God, we thank you for guiding us into this place. Your house. Your presence. God, we thank you for those few who have gathered here to glorify your name in worship, in praise, in song, in scripture. God, we thank you for giving us the breath of life. And God, as we enter into our new leadership for our country, God, we ask that you would bring us together as one people, not black folks, not white folks, not Asian folks, but God, your people who praise and glorify your name every day. For you are God. You're not only a God of the first chance. God, you give us second, third, fourth, fifth, hundreds, thousands of chances to get it right with you. So on this day, we do declare that you are our God and we are your people. And we vow to praise and worship you for who you are. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. And amen. We will now have a worshiping song by our New Bethel Praise Ministry. Come on and praise the Lord, New Bethel. Hallelujah. He deserves our praise. He deserves our honor. So we're going to bless the Lord this morning. We're going to give him the highest praise. Come on and put your hands together. Come on and praise the Lord with me. Praise the Lord with me. Come on and praise the Lord. Join in. Come on and praise the Lord with me. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord with me. He deserves our praise. Praise the Lord with me. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord with me. Let's give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and sing. Hallelujah. He 
Clap your hand if you really love Jesus. Clap your hand if you love him. Clap your hand if you really love Jesus. Clap your hand if you love him. You sing. Clap your hand if you really love Jesus. Clap your hand if you love him. If you really love the Lord today. Clap your hand if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Let's clap your hands. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Let's give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing. Give him some praise this Hallelujah. morning. Hallelujah. Worship him for everything that he's done for you. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love him and we praise him and we worship him for all that he do, that he does in our life. Thank you, Lord. We come on, let's give him the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Won't you, he Lord. do it for you? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah.
me and say, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Jesus will. Jesus will. I know he will because he said he will. Jesus will. Jesus will. I know he will. I know he will. He said he will. He said he will. He'll fight my battle. He'll fight my battle. If I be still. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we bow before you right now with thanksgiving in our hearts, God. Leaning and depending on you, Jesus. Thanking you, Lord, for uh, another day. Lord, we thank you for how you just touched us this morning with your finger of love, God. We thank you, God, this morning for how you just love your people. Father God, as this day go on, we just thank you for it, Father. Father, continue to bless this nation, God. And we thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our hearts really waits to receive, Father God. Lord, now the next voice that's coming is our pastor, Father God. We just pray for him right now as he bring forth your word, Father God. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we continue to lift your name up, Father. 
because with you we are nothing. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we continue to magnify your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name I do pray, amen. Oh, come on and praise the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, he's a good God. I don't know about y'all, but the God I serve, he's been mighty, mighty good to me. Oh, come on and get on your feet and give God praise this morning. Come on and worship the Lord with me right now. Oh, he's been so good. He's just been so good. He's a good God. He's an excellent God. Oh, he's just a righteous God. He's an everything God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, just to be in your presence, Lord. Just to be in your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Just to be in your presence, Lord. Just to be with you, Lord. Just to be with you, Lord, is all we want to do, Lord. Just to praise your name, Lord. Just to praise your holy name, Lord. Just to bless you, Lord. Oh, we honor you, Lord. We give your name praise, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Father. He's just been too good to me. Thank you, God. I got so much to praise him for this morning. Thank you, God. Oh, people have been sending praises all over the world. And look what happened. Thank you, God. I just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just to be.
and I want to be close to you.
your hands and praise him. Come on, hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise him. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Come on and let the Lord know that you love him this morning. Come on and let the Lord know that you care. Come on and let the Lord know that you're going to bless his name this morning. Come on while he's interceding for you and I. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. and give him some praise right there in your living room. If praise is what you do, give him praise right there in your bedroom. If praise is what you do, give him praise wherever you call, wherever you are. If you're riding in your car, keep your hands on the wheel, but open up your mouth and give him some praise. Amen, amen, amen. We are to be praising him all over this country this morning. God has been good to us. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God is worthy to be praised. Amen, amen. Listen, I'm not going to be before you long, but, but before I get started, I do want to say thank you to New Bethel uh, Baptist Church and all of the uh, members here and friends that are connected uh, to New Bethel for all of the warm uh, words of uh, sympathy towards me and condolences during the loss of, of my father. Uh, we laid him to rest uh, last uh, weekend, but we just thank God for his life in the long life he lived, 92 years and 11 months. So we certainly thank God for your thoughts and prayers. And also continue to pray for those that are going through bereavement with, uh, within our church family. Amen? Amen. Listen, I just want to give a couple of announcements. I know it's been a while, seemed like, that I've been behind this pulpit. But I just want to remind us of a few things that are on its way. We have an installation service that's coming soon, a virtual installation service. That's right. Um, on November the 15th, uh, I will be installed here at New Bethel Baptist Church as pastor. Amen? Amen. Listen, that will be at 3 p.m., um, we will be on Facebook and YouTube, uh, so that will be our virtual installation service. Get the word out to everyone to um, join this virtual service and watch us on Facebook Live and YouTube on next Sunday at 3 p.m. Amen? Amen. Listen, I want to uh, c continue to encourage you to sow your seeds uh, in this ministry, tithes and offering. Um, we still have Giveify. Just go to Giveify and, and sow your seeds. Sow your seeds. Amen. Amen. And we want to um, remind all those ministers uh, doing Appreciation Month that if you haven't picked up your gifts, uh, we have them here at the church. Give us a call and we can make arrangements uh, for you to get those items. Amen. Amen. Listen, I just want to continue to praise God with you uh, this morning through the, through the preach word. 
And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we'll read a few verses there. Amen. Thank God for the sound technician and the video man. He's, he's doing all of it So this morning. Amen. And to these very capable musicians with the fine sound and chorus, the praise team. Oh, come on, give them some love on Facebook right now. Doing a marvelous job. I just love the sound. Amen. Amen. If you have it, read with me. Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3, verse 1. For everything there is a season. And a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Amen. Amen. Pray with me. Father God, we thank you for another opportunity to stand behind this sacred desk to proclaim your word to the world. God, for those that are watching by Facebook, by those that are watching by YouTube, God, we ask that this word will continue to change them even over the airways. God, let your anointing power flow through the airways. God, let your anointing be in this building. And God, even now, as I prepare my heart to preach what you've given to me, God, anoint me afresh that will make preaching easy, that will make teaching easy. And God, we give your name praise. We give your name honor for what you're about to do. In your son Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want to talk to you just for a few minutes uh, from the subject, new season. New season. Do me a favor and go ahead and share this on Facebook and make a watch party. Amen. New season. Last night as I listened to President-elect Biden, it was refreshing to hear words of harmony and encouragement, words of restoration for respect and dignity of America is finally on the horizon. A new day and a new season is about to begin. We can rejoice in the fact that when one season ends, another will begin. A new beginning offer hopes to brand new possibilities for race relations, social justice, economic justice, dignity and respect for all people. But mostly, I believe that God will show him self faithful to those that cry out to him. I know many feel like things are out of control. But God will show himself faithful to those who are willing to cry out. In Psalms 18, it reminds us, I call to the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And I have been saved from my enemies. In my distress, I call to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. Oh, that lets me know that God is still in the business of answering prayers. Have you had a prayer answered lately? Are you waiting on a prayer to be answered? Well, I'm here to let you know that God still answers prayers. See, regardless of who the commander-in-chief is, God hears our prayers. Am I right? If, God, if you believe that God hears our prayers, 
Why don't you let me know that on Facebook? Give us some love. Let me know that God hears our prayers. See, the overall message of Ecclesiastes 3 is there is a time for everything, and what happens is ultimately out of our control. And I pray comfort to all of us uh, at some point in time that we cannot ignore God's initial intent for creation. And that uh, intent is love. That intent is a love relationship with him. In other words, while we're finding comfort in knowing a new season is coming, we can find comfort in knowing what goes up must come down and vice versa. We should not be satisfied with that viewpoint alone. We cannot be satisfied that some have little and some have a lot, that some are constantly in pain and others can buy pain-free life, that some will literally work themselves to death while others will never know how it is to earn a paycheck after a long week of work. That some are judged because of the color of their skin, while others can be given a pass to live life without fear. Do you follow what I'm saying here? Life is not certain. And we aren't in control of uh, what's happening in America. No, we're not. See, we are, we are all born into this America. Yeah, America looks different for everyone right now. But one thing I know, that our God is still on the throne. That's our great equalizer. See, as Christians, we are called to help build up the, uh, God's kingdom here on earth. See, fearing or, or having reverence to God is the benchmark where we need to start. Maybe we should so, uh, show some consideration on how we might have to answer to God one day. Yeah, God may have the attitude of what have you done for me lately. See, you're not in control. See, in the end, it's not a test or, or a contest or a competition to see how much we have gained personally. Instead, it's how did we spend our time? Where did we spend our time? Whether we are privileged or the oppressed, ultimately it comes down to how we express God's love and justice to others. Anybody know what I'm talking about right there? How do you express love to others? How do you execute justice when you can uh, be the judge over justice? Again, I say for everything, there is a season. Time to be born and a time to die. America, black Americans, Native Americans, white Americans, Asian, Latinos. It is time to be born again. We must reset our thoughts of how we treat one another. Now there is a time to die. There is a time for racial division to die. See, this is the season that we can plant harmony. In other words, you don't have to agree with what I believe, but you should be able to respect my belief without killing me. We should be able to enjoy cultural differences while embracing God's love for all. The words remind us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall ever believe in him? shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's it. That's it right there. See, life is not about uh, preparing for the here and now. Life is about preparing for the eternal. While you are preparing, you are to enjoy the trip, enjoy the things of life. Yes, enjoy your life, but praise God along the way. See, not only should you be praising God, but we need to keep planting uh, your seeds of love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and even self-control. See, after a while, by and by, your seeds will produce a harvest. Anybody need a harvest? The harvest is plucking, uh, it's, it's the time where you uh, pluck your fruit, uh-huh, whatever you may have. What you sow is what you reap. See, you sow love, you, uh, and you also should sow joy. Yes, whatever you sow, that's what you'll reap. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you're sowing discourse, that's what you're going to get in the end. Yes, I've never seen a farmer sow peanuts and get pecans. Yeah, I've never seen a farmer sow uh, watermelons and get bananas. Oh, what are you sowing? What's, what are you reaping doing this season? What are you sowing? Are you sowing love, joy, a peace of mind? What are you sowing in the community of faith? See, you don't have to answer the question. God already knows. See, we serve a God that is omniscient. In other words, he knows everything. He knows what you're getting uh, ready to do. He knows what you did early this morning. He knows what's on your mind right now. He knows the secret place of your heart. He knows what you're planting. He knows what you're going to reap. If you're planting love, you're going to get love. If you're planting joy, you're going to get joy. If you're planting encouragement, you're going to get encouragement. Oh, am I talking to the walls? Is anybody understanding what I'm saying? Now, now, it, there's also a time to kill. We must kill some things in the spirit. See, we must kill the spirit of discourse, spirit of racial bias. We must kill that spirit of jealousy, spirit of helplessness. See, when we can kill those things, that's when we can start to heal. Anybody need healing? Healing in our bodies. Healing in our minds. Healing in the land. Oh, if you need healing, you should let, you should let God know you need some healing right now. Healing that will make you run again. Healing will uh, cause you to work in the kingdom again. Healing. We need healing over this land. It's a new season. So we're going to have new healing. We're going to have a refreshing, a love. We're going to have the resetting of our thought process. If you are ready for a new season, you ought to prepare your heart for God. I told you earlier, whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. So right now, I just wonder if you are willing to sow the word of God in your heart. <laughs> if you're willing to sow the word of God in your heart, why don't you just send some hearts right over Facebook? Or why don't you just clap your hands and give God a praise right where you are? Yes, God is waiting to give you a heart. But I challenge you that in order to get a new harvest, you must do something new in this season. And that is to get connected with the word of God. Because in the book of Romans, it reminds us that if thou should confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. And I believe that's the issue that's going on in our country today. We need to get some people saved. Amen. If you believe that scripture and you believe it in your heart, I want you to say this prayer with me. It's a very simple prayer. And it says, Lord Jesus, I know you love me. For you died on the cross for my sins. Right now by faith 
I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, cleanse me, and make me whole. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen. If you're watching this broadcast and you said that prayer and you believe it in your heart, then you are saved. Yes, you're saved. Why don't you just share your, found, your newfound relationship with God? Let a friend know. Let us know. Go to our uh, Facebook page. Go to our website and let us know that you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen? That's good. That's good. Listen, I told you I wasn't going to be long. But I pray that this word will stay with you throughout the week and throughout uh, the days to come. Because it is a new season. It's up to you what you do with it. Amen? God bless you. I love you, New Bethel. And there's nothing you can do about it. Why don't you go ahead and give God some praise? Praise him right now. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And as we depart from this place, in this new season of our life, for our benediction. For finally, brethren, sisters, and all believers in the gospel of Jesus Christ, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things.